Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. I'm most active over on Instagram where you'll find me as both Rainbow Ange and Yarn and Yarns. Here on the channel you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and sometimes weaving. Um, and I do a weekly chatter vlog, which um, this is one of, um, chatting about what I've been making in the last seven days or so since I last recorded. And then in between times you might see some extra videos popping up um, which could be about anything and everything but most often related to fiber arts and crafts it's been just over a week since i recorded my last vlog and lots has happened <laughs> um, i'll chat about that at the end um i want to first explain why i'm not in any of my usual places um I am kind of in one of my usual places. I'm recording up in my attic craft room, um, but I'm having to stand up today because I am experiencing a little bit of um, pain and discomfort. Um, it started last week. I, I thought I'd injured my lower back. Um, as the week went on, it's um, got a little bit more painful and I think it's um, sciatica because the pain has traveled down my leg. But I'll chat about that a little bit later um, in the kind of babble at the end. Uh, but I'm having to stand up to record this because um, lying down and standing up is somewhat okay. Sitting down is the most uncomfortable <laughs> position for me at the moment. Um, but I wanted to hop on and chat to you. I've been working on a few things and I have some acquisitions. It was my birthday yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd hop on and record a quick video um, so that we don't get too far behind. If I left it for a week, then I'd be all out of sorts and not knowing where I was. So if there are any kind of unusual cuts or um, light changes or different sort of angles, that might just be because I need to stop every now and then and have a bit of a wander, and have a bit of a lie down. <laughs> between segments we shall see how it goes and um, but I'm feeling generally in good spirits so please don't worry I am fine or I will be <laughs> before we get rolling with the content I've got knitting and crochet and some acquisitions um, to share with you today I want to say a very very big thank you as always for being here I truly appreciate all of the support that I have here on the channel um, I love all of the comments that you uh, leave under the videos and by watching by liking by subscribing by commenting you're all supporting the channel um, and I also want to say a big thank you to anyone who found the Patreon page that I started up last week I have a couple of patrons which is really exciting I was sure that I was not going to get <laughs> anyone over there supporting me on Patreon I'm not sure what I'm doing over there at the moment so I'm keeping things simple and um, if you followed along for a while you know I've got lots going on at the moment but I'm sure over time I shall develop that Patreon page and I'll chat about um, any changes and things that might um be going on over on Patreon as and when they happen but nothing at the moment because I've got a lot um, of other things to deal with um, so yes thank you to <laughs> anyone who has checked out that page and also a massive thank you to anyone who has um, been able to support the channel with a coffee donation um, I do really appreciate it um, it takes time to record these videos I don't I know uh, you probably hear lots of other um, content creators here on YouTube um, saying this um, I do not begrudge that time at all I love doing this but all of those little bits of support really helped me set aside the time to be able to do this and to be able to continue to do this going forward. So thank you so much. Okay, enough waffle. <laughs> Let's, well, enough waffle about stuff. Let's get on with the waffle about making. <laughs> I think we'll start with crochet this week and if you watched my episode last week then it will be no surprise that I have um, some more progress on the crocheted twiddle muffs that I'm making. Um, I'm going to make a stack of these and send them off to a charity here in the UK called Knit for Peace. Um, I donate to them regularly through the shop and they sent me a letter to say that they were in need of a particular types of items and twill muffs which are um, mostly for people with um, sensory issues or dementia something on their list of things that they wanted so I got out my crochet hook and started making. Last week um, I think I showed uh, this um, one that I'd already made and since then I think I'd started a second. This was the second one that I've made as you can see I'm using up lots of odds and ends and lots of textured yarns. I ended up making a third in the sort of pinky purpley kind of colours oops and I also have one more um that I've finished crocheting up with all of the yellow bits and pieces that I had left over um so yeah I'm just using up 
scraps and bits and pieces. I've got a little basket of these kind of eyelet, eyelash and textured kind of fluffy yarns. I'm just working those in every now and then. What I really need to do to get these finished finished is to embellish them um, with some buttons, some ribbon, just some bits and pieces that people can fiddle or twiddle with and then these will really be done. I would have had the bits and pieces added to these except over the last few days I've only been able to either stand up or lie down um, so sitting up and kind of sewing bits on and tying things on just wasn't um, in my capabilities over the last few days but now I am feeling somewhat better managed to sit up <laughs> at various points in the day today so we're going in the right direction um, so yes over the next week or so I'm hoping to um, add some bits and pieces to get these finished and I shall start working on the next few as well. Thank you to everyone who left me comments about them last week. I asked if you had any thoughts or suggestions or ideas and a few of you um, left really helpful comments about what you do when you are doing your charity make. Some of you had never heard of Twiddle Muffs, some of you have made loads of them and so yeah I really appreciate all your comments and thoughts because this kind of making as I said last week is something that I'm not really used to doing enjoyable I'm just crocheting away using up all of my scraps and leftovers those baskets are slowly starting to dwindle um, although I'll have lots more coming into the house soon when we clear out the shop next week uh, so yeah I'm sure <laughs> I will be twiddle muffing if that is a thing <laughs> for a long time to come for a good cause and it will help me get through some of my leftovers and bits and pieces um, I am crocheting mine with a six millimeter hook and most often times I'm using chunky, super chunky yarns or um, double knit yarns held together. I think there are a couple of places where I used um, a fingering and some mohair and um, just all sorts of going in and I'm not worrying about them kind of like being um, a totally even tube because the different types of yarn uh, sort of like create indents and bulges and all sorts but I think it adds to the charm and at the end of the day if it helps someone with dementia or sensory issues to um, find some calm and peace in their day a worthy thing to make for. Before we move on, um, I thought I would quickly show you. Um, I have um, up here in my craft attic um, these kind of tubs of bits and pieces. Um, so ribbons, buttons, sequins, all sorts of things that I collected over the years, um, over many years, <laughs> that I um, have used at various points in my crafting endeavours for various things. Um, but I have various tubs, um, colour um, sorted of sort of doodads um, that I'm going to be using to um, help to decorate and finish off those twiddle muffs so I think I might take this one down with me because I've got three sort of pinky twiddle muffs to decorate and um, so as I'm editing this video I might also start tying on some ribbons and sewing on some buttons. Everything for crochet um, pretty short but hopefully nice and sweet <laughs> and uh, let's move on to some knitting. I have a finished object to share with you um, and probably no surprise if you watched last week it is my bullfinch socks so these are going to be gifted to um, my father-in-law James's dad for Christmas um, the marker here I left it in um, shows where this sock was when I showed you last week um, so I basically was at the point I think where I just turned the heel um, so I have added the foot to that um, second sock and there we go just to prove that I have a pair <laughs> started at roughly the same point um, I think somewhere along the heel the colour sequence uh, got out slightly and I have got uh, slightly different finishing points um, on the toe here but I don't think that matters at all um, I knit these um, 68 stitches, a 3 by one rib pattern all the way down the sock. Uh, obviously on the sole of the foot I switched to stocking stitch. Um, but um, yeah, really happy to have these done for our Summer of Socks Cal. And um, over the weekend um, I was stuck in bed quite a lot and um, scrolling through Instagram from time to time um, I kept seeing lots of lovely pictures of people's works in progress or finished socks for our Summer of Socks Cal um, and that made me really really happy over the weekend um, so thank you to everyone who has been sharing your finished projects and your works in progress and um, we still have our threads open on the Ravelry group um, but if you're not able to access Ravelry at the moment then you can join in either through Instagram or if you don't use social media um, then you can send me a picture of your finished socks um, 
um, at, to yarn and yarns at yahoo.com and again I'll put that on the screen um, a few people have sent me I think three now have sent me pictures of their finished pairs of socks and um, you will go into our pot for the prize draw um, when the cow closes on the 14th of September um, by posting your finished socks any of those ways so either in the finished object thread on Ravelry um, by posting on Instagram using the hashtag YNYSOS or by sending me an email with your finished photograph. This is the second second pair that I have finished for our sock along. I had six works in progress at the start of the knit along. This was which was one of the reasons that I was inspired to kick this knit along off as an incentive for me to get my sock whips finished. Um, you don't have to be knitting on a work in progress you can start a brand new pair of socks if you wish and you can enter as many pairs of socks as you like as well two down for me and four to go <laughs> one of the things that i have been managing to do this week is a little bit of simple knitting as soon as the bullfinch socks were off the needles um did i mention the yarn was west yorkshire spinners signature four ply in the bullfinch colorway which is why i keep referring to them as the bullfinch socks um, as soon as those were done i wanted to pick up a another project from my works in progress pile and actually the project had kind of outgrown the project bag that it was living in um, so I've switched over now to this beautiful um, Japanese knot style bag um, from my lovely friend Julia who is mindful magpie and she has her own website where you can purchase some lovely project bags if you feel so inclined and I'll put a link to that below so in this bag is now living my sheep socks the sheep socks are a project that I started as part of my 12 cast ons of Christmas adventure um, at the beginning of this year end of last year and um, I am woefully lagging behind on my sort of self-imposed goal of three projects per quarter I haven't really touched um, any of my 12 cast ons for a little while but you know the world's changed <laughs> and at the moment you have to go with what makes your heart happy don't you in terms of your creative projects or at least I think you do because there are so many other things going on to worry about then um, progress on your crafts is not something that needs to be in that category. I decided to pick up my sheep socks and I've made a reasonable amount of progress I'm pretty happy um, with how I've got on so the yarn was a gift by my lovely friend Jeanette and um, some of you will know Jeanette from the Ravelry group she helps me to moderate the forums over there last year I crocheted her a amigurumi from Toft and as a thank you she sent me a package with lots of goodies in um, way more than I deserved for the work that I'd put in to the amigurumi but um, she sent me a skein well, a kit actually from Artistic Yarns by Abby, um, including this amazing um, self patterning yarn, which if you knit to the right tension, produces a field of little sheeps. <laughs> so when you, when I picked this up, I think I had one, one sheep. Yeah, so I haven't really touched these since I cast on back in January or December um, so yeah as you can see I have been knitting away like a demon on this sock and it's nice because it is plain stocking yet you do have to pay a little bit of attention um, to um, there's a little sort of color work chart provided um, but it's really just to show you how many stitches in each color um, it's designed in such a way that um, if you knit it to the correct gauge then the sheep magically appear yeah, I'm almost finished the first sock <laughs> just like that um my sheep aren't perfect um you may remember you may not because it's been a while the last time i showed i had a wonky sheep and as you can see he's still wonky i tried a couple of times to rip back a row or two and get that um sheep's face kind of looking a little bit more like this rather than like that but i just couldn't do it so i thought you know what ain't none of us perfect <laughs> I, I certainly am not um so wonky sheep lives on and I am a-okay with that. I have got, I think I've figured out that once I have finished this sheep that I'm working on now, um, I will probably switch. Uh, you get a contrast ball of the green, um, a contrast, a little contrast mini of the black and of the white. Um, and the a pattern that comes with the yarn um, shows putting in a heel flap and gusset 
and you basically put a wedge of green um, in the middle of this. I did to um, skip over that and I've put in a fish lips kiss heel in the black and I have carried on um, just in the sheep self patterning yarn. I've got plenty of yarn to use um, so I'm not worried about um, kind of running out by not following the pattern um, but I think after I finish this sheep I'm going to switch into the plain green and um, knit a few more rows to get me down to the length that I'll need in my sock. It'll only be two or three um, before I need to put in the black for the toe and I'll be able to move on to the second sock. There's a, quite a few of my sheep that aren't perfect and uh, it's quite hard. There's some sort of like fuzzy bits around the edges. For the most part it's been fairly straightforward to catch the sort of stitch counts with the right colours but every now and then um, I just haven't been able to adjust my tension in a way to kind of make things go perfectly according to the sort of little cheap chart that is provided but um, yeah as I say I am I have no problems with that at all. I'm really pleased with how these are turning out and it's really nice to have some progress on these. Um, I'm knitting these on, there's 60 stitches um, on this sock and I'm knitting them on a 2.5 millimetre needle um, because I usually knit a 64 stitch sock and so I decided to go with a slightly bigger needle than I usually would um, just to um, try and kind of match the recommended um, gauge and tension for these. And the final project that's seen a little bit of love this week is my Rift Tea, which is a pattern by Jacqueline Seaslack. Um, and um, it's a relatively new cast on. Um, I was gifted this glorious um, bright orange yarn um, by Zoe from Pins and Needles um, a couple of weeks ago. And um, I decided to cast on straight away. I should have just enough, hopefully, to um, finish this rift um, so here is my progress I forgot to put in a progress keeper but I think last week I was probably somewhere in here I know I'd finished the rib joined in the round and knit a couple of inches um, but I've now got to the point where I have used up the first of my two skeins of this yarn and this would have been the perfect project to knit on um, while I was kind of lying around <laughs> not being able to do anything else but um, I needed to wind up the second skein of yarn. Um, I'm sure I probably could have asked James to do that, but I thought, you know, that might be more trouble than it was worth it. <laughs> so I decided it could just um, wait until I was well enough to wind up the second skein. I'm happy to say I have stood and done that this morning so I shall be able to carry on with this now. I need to measure this to see how far I've got to go before I split for the front and the back. It's a cropped top and I'm going to knit to pattern just because I am really close to the suggested um, yardage for the size that I'm knitting. Um, I think the size that I'm knitting called for something like um, 700 yards and I've got like 701 or something like that it's very very close and um, so I'm just going to stick to the pattern and hope that my yarn sees me through <laughs> but I'm fully prepared that it might not work out and I might have to either um, rip and adjust the body to make it even more cropped than it is or maybe I'll just have to rip the whole project and find something else to do with this yarn but I knew that going into the project so I'll not be mad if that happens um, this pattern is really lovely, um, it's got a nice kind of twisted rib detail on the side. I'm using some um, beautiful markers, these were some of the first kind of fancy markers that I purchased and I actually purchased these from Owl About Yarn quite a few years ago now. Um, but this cake does make me want to eat every time I pick up this project. <laughs> um, on this side I've got a tree because that one just um, denotes the beginning of the round for me. I'm actually trying out some new needles for this project. These are um, Knit Pro Gingers, which are a fairly new line from uh, the Knit Pro range. And I was contemplating um, finding a replacement for the Leica needles for the shop, um, which I had stocked but was having problems with the supplier just um, taking their sweet time getting stock to me. So I've decided to just continue those needles and I was looking for a substitute. Um, these gingers are nice smooth wood and I'm really liking them. So the rift is coming along nicely. Second skein of my yarn is all wound up and ready to go. And that is living in this beautiful project bag, which was a birthday gift from my friend Mandy. Beautiful patchwork of orange. Oops, whacked myself in the face then. <laughs> Ridiculous. So yes, that's everything for the making. 
I'm recording this video a day later than usual this week so it's going to be hopefully going up today on Tuesday rather than on Monday and that is because yesterday I celebrated my birthday um, 44 years around the sun yesterday and uh, yeah it was a bit of a strange birthday obviously we're still not back to kind of normal in terms of the lockdown situation but even if we were able to go out and about because of the amount of pain and discomfort I've had um, over the weekend I would not have been able to do anything so um, James made sure I had a lovely day despite the fact that for the most part I was lying down on the sofa not being <laughs> able to do too much um, but I was thoroughly spoiled by um, James and by my friends I had loads of birthday wishes some yarny gifts so I thought I would quickly show those off to you now so I gave James a little list of some of the things that I would quite like for my birthday um, there was a few options on there sort of either ors so that I would get sort of somewhat of a surprise um, but in the end um, I got all of the yarny things that I put on my list because of the generosity of a lovely friend of ours um, Steve he won't watch these videos so it's okay if I mention him but he's one of James's best friends and he's become one of my best friends and he was secretly messaging James to say what can I get Anne for a birthday and one of the things on my birthday list um, was a skein from um, Attic Spin Dye a fairly new yarn of theirs and um, this colorway is called Nanny Og um, inspired by the lovely Nanny Og from Terry Pratchett's Discworld and it's a beautiful yarn of um, merino and silk and I just fell in love um, not only because Nanny Og is one of my favorites um, but also of course because of the beautiful colors in this skein um, so I was so thrilled to be gifted this um, it came along with um, a couple of beautiful progress keepers there's a witch's hat and a witch on a broom and I think I've left those downstairs and I'm, I hope you'll forgive me um, for not being able to go down and grab everything and um, Nanny Og came to live with me wouldn't love Nanny Og coming to live with them <laughs> and I also asked and it was a bit of a sort of stretch ask but I asked for a sweater quantity of um, Kartra of yarn and I got it ah, I'm so excited um, so I have four skeins of the um Kartra four ply in the beautiful flam colorway and yeah <laughs> what can I say um I think I might have already chatted about um plans for a sweater in this because earlier on in the year I purchased two skeins of the Kartra four ply um, and my intention was to hold on to these until I could um, pair them together with a main colour um, for a sweater. Um, so this, I now have all of the yarn for my sweater. Um, I can't remember what pattern I've chosen. It might be called the Mid Coast Sweater by Jen Steingart. Uh, the orange will be my main colour and then the two greys will be, or the grey and the natural, will be the contrast for the yoke. Um, so I'm really excited to um, be able to cast on for... Uh, a lovely new sweater with this yarn um, at some point hopefully in the not too distant future for anyone who is wondering I did order my Ashford e-spinner it has not arrived yet um, but I'm waiting patiently or impatiently for that to come um, so I will share that with you um, as soon as it arrives and um, yes thank you once again to anyone who donated um, via the coffee link with a little message to say please put this towards your e-spinner um, you have all helped to make it possible for me to um, be able to order that um, spinning wheel which I have been coveting for going on for two years now so thank you so so much I'm so so grateful um, I did also treat myself to one more small um, sort of yarn related item so I thought I'd show that off here um, to you as well um, I treated myself to a, a lovely pin from um, Sylvia who is with Cherries on Top 2 and Sylvia's recently opened her Etsy shop and um, she is very well known um, for her wonderful intarsia designs and um, particularly her Nubian Queen um, sweater and she has come up with some pins based on that design and I purchased this one which says unapologetic isn't that absolutely glorious so I shall be adding that to my pin collection and um, as soon as she posted that she had these available on um, Instagram I went over to her shop and nabbed myself one it's absolutely stunning and um, I think she has two versions of this one says um, Nubian Queen which um, is the name of her design I think and 
as I say, the second one says unapologetic. So yeah, I shall be adding that to my pin collection soon. I have a couple of other bits and pieces that I thought I might talk to you about today. Um, but to be honest, I think I have reached the limit of what I can do today. So I need to go and take a rest and edit this video together. So I hope when I come to edit this, I can put together a somewhat cohesive video. It's getting really hot up here as well. I'm getting shinier and shinier. <laughs> as <laughs> the video goes on. I'm not sure if that's like the slight discomfort that I feel in my um, buttock <laughs> and my leg or whether it's just the heat. So I think that seems, <laughs> before we descend into further talk of buttocks, I think that seems, <laughs> seems like a good opportunity for me to wrap up today. So thank you so much for visiting. Um, I truly, truly appreciate, I know I say it every week, but um, I do, I really, I really do mean it. I appreciate um, the time that you take to spend here with me every week. Um, let me know in the comments below what you've been up to. I'm still trying to catch up on my YouTube comments. I'm a, still a little bit behind, so bear with me, but I will get to reply to you all. Um, let me know in the comments below how your week has been, what you've been up to. Have you also celebrated a birthday like me? Are you an August baby? Uh, let me know, just, yeah, chat below. Um, I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Until we get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big bully hugs to you all. Bye for now.